All right, we're back for part two of the, uh, the three-in conclusion of the Tory Dungeon Exploration Woo! Athon. We are going to be getting our awesome magic spell here. Uh, briefly took a, as you'll see, I just stepped in just briefly into what I'm going to call the stacked cup room. Um, it is actually, aside from being hilarious, that it looks like a bunch of stacked, stacked cups. cups yeah. um, it is one of the two unnecessary quarters in this dungeon because you can actually access all other parts around the stacked cup corridor uh, by going through different entrances. So it's completely useless. Yeah, it's, it's superfluous, but it's also it makes it convenient for going from one place to another um, if you don't want to go through the overworld, which I usually don't like doing. I prefer to stay in the dungeon as much as possible. But oh. you haven't gotten the power-up from the shuriken yet, have you? Uh, the power for the shuriken? Yeah. What well, do you mean? I mean, like you said, after you get a new weapon, you light somebody up and you get... Here is our new magic spell. Uh, this is going to be the slow spell, uh, which is pretty useful in a few places here and elsewhere. It uses up uh, two magic points, so one big magic dot. Uh, and it does exactly as advertised. It slows all of the enemies down to a crawl. Magic dot. Um... You have to kill all of these ghosts in order to get their token, and this is a perfect opportunity, opportunity, if I can speak correctly, Nope. to use, thank you, to use the slow spell. Um, you might ask yourself, why am I not using it now? Because this actually, you need them to be going faster in order to hit them. I will use it on this last guy, though. Uh, make sure not to miss this jump, because that's always frustrating. <laughs> well, at least it doesn't kill you. Yeah, it doesn't kill you. Later on in the game, they all kill you, don't they? Uh, all the jumps? Mm -hmm. Well, there's much much more frequent usage of spikes, yes. Mm. Uh, this is another dungeon entrance. Uh, the lower right block can be pushed, and you can climb up the mushroom and get out. Ooh, Ooh yeah! Ooh, yeah. Uh, with the shuriken, these ghosts, the green ghosts, only take three hits, which is awesome. What did they take with the knife? Uh, this is sort of a, another trap that's teaching you <laughs> something about the game. That's right, you can push blocks, multiple blocks at a time. Uh, I will show you on the way, uh, right here, yes. You can push this block, that is a complete red herring. There's no use for that at all. Just to trick you to think that you can somehow push it around the corner, and you of course cannot. Uh, this is a slightly tricky jump, but it saves a lot of time getting out. You have to make sure you're right at the edge in order to clear the spike. So you just got really used to telling what pixel was the last one. Uh, yes, you can actually pretty much have half of Glendall's shadow, which is a little, you know, a little black spot above, below him. About half of that can be hanging off of the ledge, and you can still actually be on the ledge. So that's another good way to. Uh, there's the other side of the cup quarter, uh, just you know, showing you that it connects through. Uh, that's a good way, a good place to use the slow spell, as demonstrated. Good. This is another good place, because you have to kill two roaming uh, blue ghosts. So just, you know, pop the spell, and then murder them. Ninja style. Ninja murder. Ninja murder. Most entertaining kind. The last token is going to be from clearing this room of knights. So if you're, if you're following along, if you're playing, if you are playing yourself and you're following along, this should be your last token. If not, then you missed something somewhere, and God help you, going back through the entire dungeon, finding that last token. <laughs> Which is what you probably had to do. Uh, yes. The later dungeons, it gets extremely aggravating because they're basically become more... Uh, the seventh dungeon especially becomes basically like a line, and if you get to the end of the line and you don't have everything... Then you have to go all the way back to point A. End of the line. End of the ah, line. Ah, ah. ah. I will punch you in your burned skin. For those who can't see me at home, I am strawberry red, which is not a color an Irishman should be. Yes, he was. He he tried to fight the sun, and I lost. I lost. Pretty. Here badly. is the blue key that I mentioned in the first part. Um, this is the other side. Uh, you'll, if you'll, you'll recall that I found a red key on the other side, thus I can go through this red gate. Uh, the white gate there is actually completely superfluous, because if you go all the way around, you can see there, I'm on the other side of it. This room here leads to the boss. Be careful around these spikes. Touch them, you die. Yeah, touch them, die. It's just annoying. This last green key will lead you into the summoning room, and we're going to summon Soon Soon. Child nightmare. Child childhood nightmare. He throws a bunch of boulders. 
Um, and I die once here because I get a little bit greedy and get a little too close to the boulder. <laughs> so basically, as long as you're patient, you can win yeah, this Yeah, as game. long as you're patient. Um, of course, the bosses get extremely frustrating because of the... Um, they start taking more and more hits to kill. It's still pretty, still pretty easy at this point. Uh, you can only hit him by jumping up, and at the apex of your jump, if you throw a uh, shuriken, it'll hit him and so his face. cause damage. Yeah, you have to hit him in the eyes, as I'm doing now. And I'm about to, yeah, yep, there it goes. I got a little too close to the. Uh... Well, that's okay. We get to hear the awesome music even more. This but time there is grade A rape. So what I'm doing to the boss now is illegal. So that's I'm just well out there. in most countries. In most countries, yeah. I mean, you know, it depends on you know age or limits and things like that. And, and yeah. And yeah, kind of creepy. Uh, I think we're just gonna stop we're gonna that. stop talking. Yeah, yeah new, new conversation. <laughs> new conversation. So those boulders look like Pokemon. Of yeah, some look kind. like Pokeballs. Um, I just think of, like rolled up armadillo po Pokemon. I'm sure those exist. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I haven't followed Pokemon in a very long time, so I you, don't. I don't used know to the follow new names. Pokemon. Oh yeah, when it, when it first came out, it was. It was the thing, thing to have. Uh, you'll notice there, now this is kind of subtle, but you'll notice there as I walked past the uh, bulge as he was coming out, it sort of pushed my sprite to the side. Um, we're going to abuse that a lot later. Basically cheat. <laughs> Yay! Uh, because there's a, there's a spot in the boss room that glitches out and the boss will never be able to hurt you. And that's, it's going to go a long way towards uh, actually being able to beat these other bosses. They're, they get longer and harder. Seizure. Herder. And various other euphemisms. Yay. Uh, beat the boss, get extra life, get extra magic. Feel stronger. Um, it says here that your valor is improving. Uh, every time you beat a boss, the adjective changes. So actually, actually predicate nominative is not an adjective. Substantive adjective. Well, whatever. It's predicate nominative. Anyways, uh, so yeah. it'll say, like, it's improving, it, was, it starts out at, like, it's okay, and then, like, it's adequate, and then it's improving, and then it's excellent, and then it's legendary, or I and forget no, the actual... we're going back to the area with the first dungeon. Because the next, uh, the next level, Deso, is going to be uh, the upper right bridge. And I passed that cloud. That was the cloud I was looking for, but I, don't re I didn't realize that I actually passed it until I <laughs> watched the video playback. Uh, Alright, and we are done... Bye, everybody. With Tori. Goodbye. See you in the next video. Hoot.